Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings, the home of political news and reports on events in the country. One of the southern governors have sworn that the last evil that was done in his state by Fulani hitsmen is the last they will ever do. And uh, this is not just any governor. Uh, we know him to be an action governor, talking about Akerdulu as he visited you know, some areas that Fulani headsmen came, invaded and did so much harm you know, to the people. Now, don't forget that these same Fulani headsmen are starting off very early this year than the previous year that had passed. I think the time, uh, one of the years that they started like was 2017 when they entered into, you know, um, Benue State. But right now, they are coming very hard. I don't know the kind of orientation these guys have, but they just have to be stopped. And hear what Akerudu intends to do to them after visiting a scene where they wreak havoc in the community. We're going to be looking at that uh, and also make some analysis and make some reference in respect to some of the things that Akira Dulu say. But before we do that, if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video. Governor Rotumi Akira Dulu of Ondo State has lambasted northern leaders, politicians and other Nigerians supporting Kila Fulani hitsmen, calling them criminals, criticized them as he bemoaned the hitsmen atrocity after three per people were hacked down and houses were raised last Thursday in Omolege Junction near Ute in Ose local government area. According to him, he said, you have to be prepared. These headsmen are becoming too problematic. We are not sleeping. You can see the police and Amotokun here. With this one they have done, we will ensure that it is their last evil act here, the Ondo governor stated. Those behind these are criminals. Those supporting them are also criminals too. Anyone who commits a crime will answer for it. President Muhammadu Buhari has often supported Fulani headsmen castigating state governors and farmers for preventing the headers cattle from grazing. According to him, he said, they have run to Edo State now. The governor said in a statement issued on Sunday by his aide, Richard Olatunde. Mr. Kerdulu, who visited the area on Sunday, commensurated with the people, said no government would be happy with the killings of its people. He assured residents that the government was making relentless effort to track the headsmen and provide relief materials to those affected. The governor added that both the police and Amotekun have briefed me that they were being shot at, but for their boldness and courage, the criminals would have overwhelmed them. The Akaribu of Ute Felix Olabode narrated that the UGM killed people and returned to raising buildings 30 minutes after police visited the area. They always used guns to scare people away here and then brought their cows to graze on people's farm and drink water. Also, the Odua People Congress OPC coordinator in the area, Fulon Roncho Olofe, disclosed that the UGM attacked the community with equipment. This has been happening for too long. They are always coming with weapons. There were more than 50 one American officer was hit while we hit during the attack. They came and brought down the ballet. People came and evacuated the dead and not up to 15 minutes. They came back and raised the place. Villagers said that the UGM attacked the community following the refusal of the resident to allow the headsmen to graze on their farm. You can just imagine that because of the refusal of the community, the host community, to allow them to grace on their farm, Abba, grace on their own farm, the Fulani headsmen had to go back, equip themselves, and come down to the community, burn down some houses, and also brought down people. I mean, this is a pointer to the fact that Maybe what uh, uh, the former, uh, the acting or the deputy go uh, director of Central Bank said 
who is now led, was absolutely true that 2022 is a targeted year for them to ensure that in they invade the entirety of the South. And we are seeing the signs everywhere. Yes, they are seeing this. And now, Akeru has streamlined a lot of things to ensure that there is no repeat of anything like um, headers or farmer headers, crises, and stuff like that. Now, how did he go about it? By ensuring that there is a legislation, there is a law on ground, and the process of staying in the state is clearly spelled out. You register, go through the process, and you're allowed to grace in a particular area. But these guys, they believe, they have this notion. I always say this, from all indication, they have this notion that Nigeria is their property. And not just Nigeria being the property, but all the forests, anywhere that there is grass growing, it personally belongs to us. It is meant to keep our sheep or keep our cows alive. For that reason, whatever it takes, we must do to ensure that we secure such an environment, we must do it. And you just imagine why people should be trained with this kind of mentality. If you listen to Okere Duru, one of the things that he said was the fact that these guys are too problematic and that is the truth they are too problematic to an extent whereby they do not respect constituted authority they do not care whether it is coming from anywhere and, and i'm just wondering what is giving them that impetus please go to our conversation what do you think is giving these guys the, that impetus is because is it because they are from the same ethnic group with the president or maybe there's something that they tell them that makes them feel that they are far superior to other people I don't know. I don't know the kind of orientation. Please do well. Just say it in the comment section because this thing is unbecoming. I mean, just imagine going to as early as 2022. You see the step these guys are taking. You just know that there is a plan on ground and that plan is to see how they can seize as many places as possible. And I think that for uh, Amotekun, it's very good. I mean, two places makes me a little happy about this issue of Fulani Hetzman and that's the Southeast and also Akere Dulu's hometown, that's Ondo, precisely. Those guys are ready for whatever will happen. And now they say they've migrated to Edo State. We don't know what they are going to do there in Edo State, but already we are hearing a lot of happenings there in Edo State. Some of those things are not even in the media. I mean, this is so absurd. Something drastic must be done to prevent these people from continuous you know, continually acting this way. And if you listen to what some of the eyewitnesses said, they came with equipment, as they came with weapons. And uh, the question is, illiterates like these guys, how do they get these things and they're using it against the people? It therefore means there is an invisible hand providing them these stuffs and giving them that courage to go ahead and bring trouble to Nigerians. And bring trouble to Nigerians. And uh, right now, everyone needs to, I mean, boggle up and get ready to stop them with everything we've got. Because from all indication, they are coming in to, to do all manner of mayhem. No matter what it takes them, they want to do it. You understand? So, it, it's, it calls for preparedness on the part of the state government. It calls for real preparedness. They need to equip themselves and get ready for these guys because this is the last round of the whole thing. I mean, this administration, as we're talking, they have just 17 months to go. 17 months to go. That's all they've got. So, these 17 months, everyone must be up and running in terms of security, if not what happened in 2017 may likely happen again. Let them come to a point where that, by they realize that the Southerners are no fools. And that must happen speedily. All right, and that's where I'd like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. What's your standpoint on the activity of Fulani Hetzman in an early month of the year like this? What do you think their intentions are? Let's.